Hello everybody, this is Della from The Beauty of Play, and today I'm going to give you an inside look into my curriculum, The Quality of Numbers. This curriculum is perfect for first grade. It can also be used for pre-K and kindergarten, and up to second grade, but second grade will probably need a supplement. So when we open to the first page, we see a table of contents. This entire table of contents is hyperlinked, so it's very easy to get to anywhere you need to go within the curriculum. It's also a very thorough table of contents with uh, subsections under every main section. Then the curriculum goes through the overview of what to expect throughout the entire curriculum. And it goes through a list of supplies. I will say on these supplies, not all of them are completely necessary. There are a few that this curriculum really relies heavily on. The cruise and air rods, the math rods, um, in addition, the counting wheel. But the rest of the material is common material that can be found anywhere, um, like sidewalk chalk, painter's tape, crayons, color pencils, craft thread. You can use embroidery thread, but craft thread works better for these projects. Um, graph paper is not necessary, but makes it easy to transfer the work with the rods into a notebook because the graph paper is in one centimeter squat squares and the cruising air rods are measured in centimeters as well. After it goes through the overview and supply, it goes through the number study and how to introduce each of the numbers. The wonderful things about this curriculum is that it is whole child oriented. So there's lots of movement, art um, in, involved in the curriculum. It goes through how to do implementation basically how to set a schedule for yourself. And there's an example schedule in the appendix, but it's really meant for you to choose your own schedule. And then it goes through one specifically. And the reason that we go through one so in depth is because one does a lot of introduction to things that are gonna be used throughout the entire curriculum, like the circle. So it goes through how to use the circle. It goes through how to use the cruise and air rods. And it goes through a concept called I notice and I wonder. And this concept is used throughout the curriculum, but it is a great prompt through for all of homeschooling. And then it introduces the number line. Now the number line in this curriculum is both a physical number line, either drawn in sidewalk chalk or made with painter's tape on the floor of your house. And this number line is for the child to physically move back and forth along. It also goes over the second number line, and this number line is the number line on paper. So in the vast majority of the numbers, you're looking at not only the circle, but the rods, and the number line and how each of them interweaves the concept that you're learning for that number. Then it goes into how to practice writing a number. And because these are small children, and this is again a whole child philosophy, it's just not putting practicing on paper but Lots of sensory activities are included in practicing numbers, and you'll see that in the appendix. And then it also goes over how to keep your notebook. After that, it goes through each of the numbers, but I'm just going to pause here and skip to the activities, because this is really where the bulk of the curriculum is. So going back, and I really encourage you to read through the entire curriculum before you start implementing it. So when you go through to the back, you see 
There's a whole list of different ways that you can practice making numbers, like practice drawing the numbers. And then it goes through in detail how to make the circles and the circle medallions. And I want to say too, for each of these activities, there are video links to support you in making these things happen. There's the rhythmic movement, exploring symmetry, and skip counting on the number wheel. And then it goes in through other activities, including working with the cruising air rods that are included to do with, all, with any or all the numbers. This section goes over introducing even and odd. So I'm going to skip back to the numbers. And you'll notice here when I introduce the numbers, there's a paragraph at the beginning that talks about which activities work really well and how to go about choosing which activities you want to do for each number. The thing about this curriculum is that it allows the maximum amount of flexibility for your family. So if you have a child that really loves weaving the 100 chart, you can do that several times over for several numbers. If you have a child that really doesn't like a particular activity, then you don't have to do that activity again. There are several activities that allow for learning the same material with each of the numbers. And these activities are also encouraged to be done multiple times. So for ease, at, in the section just below the paragraph that I tell you which numbers work best for each of the numbers, there are links to books and resources in the back here in the appendix, like a list of where you would find the numbers in nature, a list of the books and resources that you might need. And some of these links are links to books as a free PDF. So you really don't have to have extra books with this curriculum. And then it also has a link of the videos. And at the very end is the example schedule that I talked about. Past the example schedule are the posters or the chalk drawings that you can put up for each of the units. So going back, this links the appendix for quick access. And then it goes through to say more of what can be done for the number. And then it has a link for all the activities that are applicable for that number. So you can just choose which of these activities that you want to do. Some of the activities really need to be done for every number, like skip counting on the number line, perhaps the circles, and working with the rods. But the others you can pick and choose how you want to do them. So that goes through for each one of the numbers. You can see each one of the numbers has the links, so it's really easy to get where you want to go. And it has a nice long description of what activities work best with this number and why they work best. It has examples of children's work. And then each of these, again, is hyperlinked, so it's easy to get to. And most of these activities, if not all the activities, have videos showing you how to do the, each of them. And that is basically the bulk of the curriculum, the quality of numbers. Thank you guys.